hello friends today i am here again with a new video for you all we were discussing about chapter number three anti-british rising and peasant revolts in assam so in the previous chapters in the previous videos we have discussed about various factors responsible for the outbreak of the revolt of 1857 and persons associated with you with this revolt we have also discussed about the life story of maniram devan and uh, the importance of uh, revolt of 1857 in this video we will discuss about one of the most important event in the modern assam history so let us begin with uh, let us begin here with the, with the topic fulaguri dhawa 1861 so fulaguri dhawa is regarded as the first revolt raised in Assam against the British policy of economic exploitation. So, in the previous videos we have discussed earlier, in the previous videos we have discussed that how the Britishers imposed taxes, various taxes in the name of collecting, in the name of reviving the economic condition after the devastation of the revolt of 1857. So, how the peasants reacted after that, after that uh, incident and after that uh, policies and it is one of the outcome this this uh, event that is Fulaguri Dhawa is an outcome of those uh, policies imposed by the British government in those days so Fulaguri is a small village which is located in Nogao and the people inhabited in that village were basically belong to Tiwa ethnic community it's a tribal community it's a tribe and Tiwa community is also known as Lalung Tiva community basically survived on the commercial cultivation of poppy. It is a kind of seed which produce, which used to be produced for uh, uh, collecting opium uh, or uh, producing opium. Uh, later on, British, after knowing that, imposed complete ban on cultivation of poppy as British began to sell opium, which was produced from the seeds of this poppy. So in order to uh, produce opium, British government what they did that completely ban the imposed complete ban on the cultivation of poppy. Also there was a news surrounded in those days that British government has imposed tax on Tamil pan. Now what is that Tamil pan? It's uh, the erica nut and bitter leaves. The people of Assam used to uh, take erica nut and bitter leaf as a tradition. They, uh, they used to serve this Tamil pan to the guests who used to come in the house for a visit so when they are uh, they are being greeted when they come to the house of the Assamese people uh, uh, throughout the uh, throughout the state they used to pray not in not only in Assam but also in the other parts of the northeastern states they used to uh, uh, greet guests with Tamil and Pan so the British government in those days imposed that was a news which was spread throughout the state throughout the region that it has imposed tax on Tamil and Pan. So this has made the peasant group a bit furious. They started to condemn the act of Britishers on this issue. So on this regard, on 17th uh, September 1861, around 1500 peasants gathered in the village called Fulaguri and organized a rice mill. We have discussed about rice mill in the earlier videos. videos. <coughs> what is the rice mill and submitted a petition to deputy commissioner of Nogao. So they requested uh, the uh, deputy commissioner to remove the ban on poppy cultivation and not to impose any kind of tax on Tamil and Pan. So these were their demands. First demand was to uh, ban, to remove the ban on poppy cultivation and second was to uh, disallow any kind of tax on the uh, Tamil and Pan. But uh, the deputy commissioner of Nogao, who was Herbert Scones, disapproved all their dis demands. He has rejected their demands, Mr. Herbert, and this has made the peasant group a bit furious and decided to protest against the British government by organizing rice mill for five consecutive days. So after, after holding the earlier rice mill, they have 
issued their demands they have put forward their demands to the deputy commissioner the local authority but this was not taken up by the uh, commissioner deputy commissioner of nagao mr harbert and later on again they have decided to organize a huge rice mill for 5 days for 5 continuous continued days so so the protest started in or the protest began from 15th october 1861 and gradually what happened number of peasants raised increased to about 4000 imagine 4000 peasants had gathered in that village fulaguri for attending a rice mill and to discuss about the issues of banning poppy cultivation and imposing uh, tax on pan and tamul so the peasants came with bamboo sticks they were not present with any kind of arms and ammunition but with bamboo sticks they used to carry bamboo and sticks earlier these peasants used to carry bamboo and sticks wherever they used to go in order to suppress the gatherings harbert har mr harbert sent assistant commissioner lieutenant singer so he ordered his junior assistant commissioner lieutenant singer to control the gathering to uh, sort out the matter what was going on pulaguri one of the person called jati kalita he tried to convince and he gave all the information regarding the organization of this uh, rice mill and explain about the p- position of the peasants and also he told that if the local authority is not in a position to understand their demand or to uh, resolve their demand they will move to the higher authority with their with their demands but singer was uh, unmoved he didn't hear any kind of request from the peasants rather he ordered people to leave the spot and ordered his sepoys to snatch all kinds of sticks what they carried meanwhile what happened a peasant with his stick struck in the head of singer and the rest of the peasants they joined together with that peasant who attacked singer and on that on the in that situation singer died on the spot his dead body later on his dead body was thrown into the river called kalong kalong river the sepoys who had accompanied mr singer fled the field they left the they left the place they left the place leaving singer's body dead body on uh, into the uh, uh, kalong river the incident is known this incident this whole incident is regarded as fulaguri dhawa later on what happened uh, a trial was conducted by the british authority and many prisoners were arrested thousands were imp- imprisoned in temporary jails of roha and fulaguri and others many others were sent to andaman and nicobar islands kalapani in the jail of kalapani prisoners like lakhan dekha dekha shangbor lalung and rongbor dekha were sentenced to death so these people these three people were hanged after the trial after they were found guilty in the murder of a british officer now we have to understand the importance of this fulaguri dawa as we have discussed about as we have uh, uh, discussed about the importance of the revolt of 1857 since the importance of revolt of 1857 is quite similar to the importance of this fulaguri dawa as well so the british authority of authority after certain uh, chaos in the uh, minds of the people of assam they uh, tried to dismiss the fulaguri dawa as and they tried they, they, told, they told the people that his their high authority and Uh, regarded this as an ordinary gathering of some opium addicted peasants but uh, in reality it had far reaching impact on the history of assam people had realized that this is the only way to protest against the britishers to protest against the british uh, policies so uh, uh, people has real people had realized the uh, importance of this uh, the, uh, of this uh, uh, incident in this revolt for the first time included for the first time included prison group of tiwa and fishing community others such as elite educated middle class people of assam businessmen and some other mojadars ex- extended their support to the rebels in the previous case of revolt of 1857 we find less contribution and less uh, uh, support from the, uh, the, the, the larger community of the society but in fulaguri dawa people uh, many people started to join them and many people had uh, extended their support to Uh, take forward the rebel the the the, the, the revolt 
uh, it was a successful revolt and the british government had never imposed any taxes on tamil pan after the after this incident so you can say in one sense that fulaguri dawa is to some extent is regarded it can be regarded as a successful revolt as later on the british government didn't imposed any kind of tax on tamil and pan also the incident of fulaguri dawa became an example inspiration for the presence of other parts of assam as a result the presence of various areas of darang and kamrup district raised voice voice against the oppressive policy of the british government so fulaguri dawa is in fact an example of non cooperation movement before gandhiji's non cooperation movement the people of assam had introduced in their way the concept of uh, the concept of non cooperation movement by not listening to the uh, policies or the uh, the, uh, the strictness of the british government rather they have opposed the policy of the british so this can be said as one of the most important event in the history of assam and india and it can be said as a example of non cooperation movement with this few um uh, things i would like to conclude the talk today's talk now we will be available i will be available with new video uh, till then thank you goodbye